What's up guys, today I'm going to make a video on a product that I think a lot of people could find useful. And if you're like most Jeep people, you like adding lights to your car, uh, whether it be a 50 inch light bar or pods just all over the place. And with that comes a lot of wires and a lot of wiring and switches and everything that goes along with that. And it can create you know, a pretty big mess. And um, there's a company called the Steel Armadillo that makes a product and what it is is it's a switch plate. So you can mount all of the switches in a clean location, have them all right next to each other, and it looks really nice. So if you do have a lot of lights, or if you plan on having a lot of lights, you may find this product really useful. It looks really clean, well made, and it's inexpensive. All right guys, Modesty Instructions. This is exactly what you'll get when you order it from the Steel Armadillo. It's really simple, only two pieces obviously, in the, uh, in the hardware. The model I have here is the five switches, because I have an 05 WK, but they also make it for the, the different years which hold, I think, four switches. And you could also get it in the round style switches as well, but I opted for the uh, the rectangular one, so I could use the OTT, or O-T-R-A-T-T-W switches, which I'll get into a little bit later. So this is just the front switch plate, and then you'll have the back plate right here, and then the four screws that you're just gonna use to mount this. You only need two tools basically to do this, and I have one right here, it's an Allen key, and the other thing is either a panel remover, trim remover type thing, or a flathead screwdriver. So if I haven't mentioned it already, the switch plate takes place of this little cubby right here, and to take this out, it's really simple, you can remove this, this panel right here with a flathead screwdriver, it just pops right out, and then you just push this from the back. I'll show you how to do that real quick with a flathead screwdriver. You could also do it with like a, a trim removal tool to um, save the possibility of kind of scratching or damaging anything really. And uh, yeah, regardless, it's, it's a really easy process and I'll just show you how to do it. So the first step, like I said, is to take this out. I'm gonna film with one hand and do it with the other just to show you how easy it is. Well, I'm not doing it to show you how easy it is, but it will show how easy it is. So you'll hear the clips kind of pop. And then bam, miss out. <laughs> it's kind of got a contoured edge right there that wraps around right there. So you just gotta kind of wiggle it out. After you remove this panel right here, you have access to the back of the cubby right there. And taking this out is literally as simple as just pushing it out. And mine popped right out like that. You might have to do a little bit more um, to get yours out. but. That was real simple for me, and I'll move on to how to install the switch plate. Real quick, before I go into how to install the switch plate, I'm just gonna show you the, the switches and switch covers that TSA recommends using. And it's from a company called OTRATTW, which stands for Over the River and Through the Woods. And what they sell are different types of switches that light up in different combinations. As you see here, I, I just have a switch that uh, lights differently whether it's on or off and it's amber and amber but you can get different light combinations and you can get tons of different covers on the switches I have here um, you'll see that it's actually a WK which I thought was pretty neat because I have a WK all you do is just take the switch and then the switch cover and you push it on like that push it on it clicks into place I'm gonna do it in a minute and then from there you're gonna put them in here and wire them just like that, and put them all through there. You're gonna make a common ground, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do the wiring in a different video just because I wanna show the switch plate, how to install it, what it's gonna look like after. And if you're further interested, you can watch the, the wiring video so you can see how I do it. All right guys, so now that you have your switches installed into your switch plate, you can move on to installing the actual switch plate. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take the backing plate, and you'll notice that this goes in only one way due to the fact that this has a little bit larger of an angled curve that this side does. So you can see on the backing plate how it would contour those curves. What you're gonna do is just put the backing plate in there and you're gonna do the same for the switch plate and kind of get your hand back there to hold everything in place while you take the hardware and then you fasten it into the backing plate. A little tricky. Might take a second to uh, line it up right. But once you do, you just start bolting it up. And then you do it with all four sides. Don't tighten it up all the way so you can make sure it's lined up before you go ahead and make sure everything's secured. And once we're at that point, I will get back. All 
All right, so now that you have four of them loosely screwed in, you'll see it. the switch plate has a little bit of play in it. So all you're gonna do from here is just make sure it's all lined up and centered nicely. And then you can go ahead and tighten these down to torque. All in all, this is really easy. I think it's just a little bit over $30, including shipping. And just out of car nature, real, real quick, I'm gonna do this in a star pattern. But um, yeah, this is, this is real quick. No cutting or drilling, none of that required to install this. It's powder coated black as you can see it looks really nice and clean and another really good thing about this product is it is located right over the OEM fuse panel which is right below this so you can have a real clean installation and it makes wiring the lights that are included with these switches really simple you just run it right down there and you could find the right fuses that you need to tap into if that's what you want to do but other than that you're left with a really clean solution to all your lighting and as you can see here, I'm missing one, which ironically is my windshield mounted lights, which is the only aftermarket light I have right now. But I just figured for the sake of the video, you get the idea with four. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will leave a link to everything in here in the description. 